Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Rachel. And this is Matthew. And this is the coolest stuff on the planet. This is true. We usually travel around the world, Matt, but uh, today we're actually staying stateside. That's correct. We're going to the northwest part of Arizona, to the Grand Canyon. And the Grand Canyon is one of probably the most famous natural formations in the world. Um, It's part of the Grand Canyon National Park, Mm -hmm. and it attracts about 5 million visitors every year. Yeah, it's actually the largest gorge in the world. So the Grand Canyon's geology is a major part of its draw, right? I mean, that's why, well, that's why I wanted to go, um, both for ordinary folks like me and also for scientists. So uh, the canyon is basically a giant onion. An onion? Yes. Now, now bear with me. Do you okay. know why it's like an onion? No, I have no idea. Okay. Because it's got layers, man. So erosion has exposed all kinds of this old, old rock and different kinds of old rock. Okay, so how old how old do you think it is? Um, I'm guessing it's over 40. Yes, it, it is over 40. It's 2,000 million years old. Which is pretty old. We're just talking about the, the oldest rock here. But the canyon itself is not actually as old as the rock. But it's still pretty old. It's 5 to 6 million years old. Wow, that's ridiculous. Right. The canyon is 277 miles long. Okay, now that's that's actually measured by the length of the river that flows, uh, Colorado River, that hmm. flows um, inside of it. 18 miles wide at the widest and a mile deep in some places. And in fact, it's so big that you can see it from space. Another really cool thing about the Grand Canyon is the coloring. Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay, so it's got almost a a red-yellow tint to it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it has that is because there are minerals and iron oxides in in the stone, in the rock, that actually give the canyon walls that color. So kind of like Uluru. Yeah, exactly. Like Where the rock is is rusting, so it's red. Exactly. Let's talk a little bit more about the canyon's history. Mm -hmm. Um, So let's talk about how it became part of a national park. Okay, cool. Um, In 1893, it was declared a forest reserve. Um, And then in 1908, President Teddy Roosevelt declared it a national monument. And then in 1919, the Grand Canyon National Park was established. And a little interesting side note about um, Teddy Roosevelt. In 1903, he actually gave a speech at the Grand Canyon. He said, in the Grand Canyon, Arizona has a natural wonder which, so far as I know, is in kind absolutely unparalleled throughout the rest of the world. I want to ask you to do one thing in connection with it in your own interest and in the interest of the country, to keep this great wonder of nature as it is now." End quote. Well, there is a lot of really cool stuff to see at the Grand Canyon. Um, and there are actually a lot of ways to see it. There are several different sides you can go on. Uh, you can go on mule rides, you can river raft on the That's thing. That's so cool. On the Colorado. Mule rides. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but for me, the best and coolest is the Skywalk. Okay, it's a glass and steel bridge that extends 70 feet from the rim, okay? So you're staying on the rim, go out 70 feet, and uh, then you're standing 4,000 feet above the Colorado River on glass. Yeah, this is both the most awesome thing I've ever heard of in the world and the most terrifying. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I could do this myself, but... Uh, so this bridge was created and is run by the native um, Wallapai people, mm-hmm. whose reservation is actually in the canyon area. And it was opened in March of 2007. And indeed, it has a glass bottom. So that means you can see right through to the canyon floor. But tell me why I shouldn't be afraid. Don't, don't anyone be afraid of this, unless you're me. This bridge isn't made out of, uh, you know, plastic interlocking pieces. It's built to withstand all kinds of extreme weather and weight and stuff like that. It's, it can handle more than 71 million pounds. Which is like 71 fully loaded 747 airplanes stacked all together. Winds in excess of 100 miles per hour from eight different directions cannot break this thing. Wow. Eight different directions. That's very logical and reassuring, but I would still be terrified. <laughs> But clearly, clearly the 2,000 people who visit every day are not daunted. That's true. So That's very true. Uh, actually, I, I went with our producer Tyler there and several of our friends when we were in Vegas. Took a little trip out to the Grand Canyon. Oh, nice. And uh, I couldn't even bring myself to stand at the edge uh, where you actually take pictures, you know, some of the little mm-hmm. places on the, along the path. Tyler, our producer, actually would walk out on an outcropping where you weren't supposed to walk and stand there. 
and look out into the wonderful Grand Canyon. Anyway, that about wraps it up for the Grand Canyon. But if you'd like to learn more about this terrifying and amazing natural formation called the Grand Canyon, uh, you can also head to HowStuffWorks.com. We have some great articles and some videos on the subject. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.